Ever since Hong Kong was founded back in the 1840s as a British colony, it has had a linked foreign exchange rate regime of some kind or other. At first, the city's currency was pegged to silver, then it was the British pound. And for the past 30 years or so, the Hong Kong dollar has been moving rather strictly in tandem with the U.S. dollar. The dollar peg has allowed the city to flourish as a center for global trade and investment. It has been tested against the backdrop of the Asian financial crisis, an outbreak of the SARS virus, and most recently, the collapse of investment bank Lehman Brothers. The Hong Kong dollar is allowed to strengthen to 7.75 against the greenback at its most valuable. Anything beyond that level will invite immediate action by the city's de facto central bank. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority has had to take action several times this week. That's because the U.S. central bank has been driving down long-term interest rates in order to boost economic growth at home. Investors looking for better rates of return have been flocking to other markets like Hong Kong. An influx of cash from overseas is a big headache for Hong Kong. The city already has the world's most expensive real estate, driven largely by ultra-low interest rates in America. It's such a serious problem that even the architect of the U.S. dollar peg is asking, maybe it's time to get rid of it. Julianne Lu, BBC News, Hong Kong.